Welcome here at the IQPC event, the CDO Exchange in for Financial Services here in London. I'm here with Peter Jackson. It's an honor to be with you over here. You're an author of several books and you launched a new book, Data Driven Digital Transformation. You launched it in March already. Um, can you explain shortly what the book is about and how it helps CDOs and other people within organizations? Um, this second book, Data Driven Business Transformation, is is aimed at the business. We wanted to, to show and demonstrate the power of data to be transform, transformative in a business for business leaders, so for mm -hmm. CEOs, COOs, CFOs. Our first book, The Chief Data Officer's Playbook, was really to our community mm -hmm. about how to be a CDO. So this was actually more into the line of business to demonstrate the transformative power of, mm -hmm. of data. And you were just, just did in the keynote and you were talking about data culture. Can you explain the importance of data culture and the, the effect on the result in the end? Um, the data culture uh, is one of those key things, I think, as, uh, as, as delivering a data strategy, one of those first things you've got to start moving the dial on, keep moving the dial on, and then maintaining it is around the data culture. Mm -hmm. Making an organization understand the value chain of data, understand uh, the power that data has, understanding from the top right the way to the mm -hmm. bottom of the business and all layers in between how um, transformational data can be to the business, but also how important it is, how it's got to be looked after, that getting people to understand the, the value of data governance mm -hmm. is, is really important. And you were talking about data maturity and many companies are struggling with moving their data maturity to the next level. You showed a nice graph on the steps they have to take. Can you explain how people should move their maturity forward? Yeah. Um, Caroline and I believe in the book um, that to start that transformative process, you have to understand where you are. Benchmark where you are. Now, what is your point of departure? If you're trying to um, get to a vision, an end state of data transformation or business transformation delivered by data, you have to understand what your starting point is to get to the point of arrival. Using that model, which addresses the 12 domains of a data ecosystem, gives you a chance to actually fairly objectively measure your data maturity. And a lot of organizations are fairly data immature, they don't value data, they don't look after data, operational inefficiency around data. So by using a, a data maturity model, you can benchmark your process, uh, you can benchmark a return of investment against um, your, your activities. And talking about return on investment, many companies struggle with it, and especially if they start and they need to start a data-driven project, how can they address it, especially if they start, but also if they're more mature? I think you've got to be really quite tenacious about uh, going after ROI and measuring it and engaging with the business, because often, often it will be the business that's gaining the benefit of the ROI, so you have to make sure that they reveal that and are transparent about it. Quite often starting a piece of work or setting up a scrum team around the value stream is a way of measuring uh, the ROI. Um, and often in the early stages of that data maturity, the ROI may come in cost efficiency or unit cost efficiencies around the process. Um, then it, it, it's, you know, you're making other people look good and that line of business might not want to offer up that value, that ROI. Um, but getting them to understand that, that, that repurposing resources, people into higher value activities, into more challenging activities, into customer delight, customer satisfaction, even measuring that is really important. Peter, thanks a lot for sharing your insight and thank you for watching here from the IQPC event in London. Thank you very much. Thank you. Enjoy this video? Don't forget to like, subscribe, share and get notifications of my new video.